This is Ray's North-South Magnetic Switch Generator 4. The purpose of this video is to have a ratio of the input motor, what it can lift as a force compared to the output and the lifting power and force that it can also do. The motor itself is considered the input. This is a small DC geared motor. I have a similar motor here so that we can accurately compare what's going on. I put a disc and a disc of the same size so that there would be no difference in input and output measurements. I have eight quarters in this small container and we'll be adding quarters into here to compare. I'll be back. I'll go ahead and set this up. The purpose of this video is my inquiry into over unity results. This way I can compare perhaps the input ratio to the output ratio. This is a possible over unity device under testing. Okay, I'll be back. We'll set that up and have some measurements. Okay, we're set up for the testing of the input motor. So I'll try and get the voltage it's required to lift the eight quarters off the platform. Okay. So we'll go up, and hopefully this will come on the video okay. There's one volt, one five, two volts, still not lifting off the platform. Let's go up to Three volts, three point five, still has not raised off the platform, the eight quarters. There's four volts, still has not lifted off the platform, the eight quarters. It is swinging, but it has not lifted it off aggressively. Let's go up and see what it takes to lift it up actively. There, about 4.3, 3.2. Okay, that's the voltage. The amperage is 0.04. So let's record that. To lift the eight quarters, we had 4.2 volts at 0.04 amp. Okay, I'm going to set it up. We're going to go to the main unit and see how it fares in comparison for ratio. Okay, I'm using the 4.3 instead of 0.04, it's drawing 0.01. That may change as we load it down, but not very much. So it's actually using less than the input motor to lift those eight quarters. Okay, let's go ahead and start. We're going to be loading the quarters into the container. We'll go four at a time. There again, I put the both the 
wheels are the same diameter. Let's get a little bit of weight in there. Okay, there's four. There's eight. There's twelve. Sixteen. Twenty. Four. Okay. I want to point out something here because this is lifting up a force but also dropping down the same force it does have a tendency to help spin it not much but it is there somewhat like the Milkovic pendulum machines as it would lift the weight would also push down again. It's almost like a seesaw. If you have a hundred pound person there, a hundred pound person there, it looks like you're lifting a hundred pounds, but really it takes a very small force, perhaps only five pounds or so for the friction, and then the opposite weight uh, would help level it back out. So you have to take that into account. So what I'm going to do here is I'll hold the weight up so it's not pulling down and then I'll drop it on the upswing so it's only recording a lifting power and not having the power that's pushing it back down so I'll go ahead and so it's still lifting that so we're pretty accurate 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. There's 40 quarters. We're still using, it's bumped up just a little bit. 0 0.01, 0 0.02, so it's really about 0 0.015. So it's still using much less power than the input power that we had tested earlier. Okay, so we have 40 in there. So I'll, again, I'll lift it up so we're not testing the power that's pulling it back down. So it's still lifting 40 quarters, that's accurate. 44. And 48. Okay, again, I'll lift the weight so it doesn't add into the measurements. Still lifting and run out of quarters. 48, 52, 56. Well, we better just about call that about it. 52. Just barely lifting, but it is lifting. Okay, let's see if it'll have more of an accurate measurement. I'll lift it off so that does not come into the account the measurements. It's still lifting. Not as far. But it is lifting. So if I could round up to 52. There's 56. There's 56. 
let's see if it's still able to this It's still lifting. <laughs> not much, but it is lifting. No, not really. Not able to lift that. So we better go back to 54. Or I mean uh, 52. So it looks like 52 quarters is able to lift. Okay, so we're going to call that 52 washers. It's able to lift. Fifty two quarters. We had the four point two, four point three, four point two, four point three. It's saying four point three at the moment as the uh, motor warmed up I suppose had something to do with that but anyhow we had uh, about 0.015 amp okay. that's in between so just to be accurate we should bring that down and get her down to Point two. There, it's hitting around 0.1 amp there. I went ahead and readjusted that. It had been reading point, uh, 4.3, so I went down 4.2, but it's staying around 0.01 amp. So that's uh, less than the uh, 4.2 uh, at uh, 0.04 amp for the input. So let's see, make sure that can still lift that. The way I made this little container, I'll have to point that out. It'd be a good time to do that. I took a small water bottle, cut it, put a couple holes in it, and then I used the uh, stainless steel. All my metal parts that I use are stainless and non-magnetic. You could use the brass but that's what I'm using so this is how I set that up this gives you a pretty good fair shot at what's going on the uh, magnet I should uh, point out if you watch it be a good idea to watch one through three but after it started then it runs much more easier so anyhow this is what it is I have a new design I'm working on this may be the last testing of this I was going to go into a uh, generator uh, have this made uh, make it myself and then add it to this and I still might do that but I have another uh, setup that has less uh, resistance in the spinning and so I'm going to work on that a little bit but I may go ahead and continue this uh, or I may uh, sorry about that but I'm just one person and I have to kind of prioritize my time and my uh, focus and so forth so I want to get something that's really working eventually running a battery charging a battery that can run itself and that's my whole goal. And thank you very much. 
Enjoy your day and make every day count.